In this lesson, we're going to look at finding the integral of x sine x dx. And to do this, we'll use integration by parts. And just as a reminder, I've placed the rule here. Now, if you've never used integration by parts, or you're unsure how to integrate or differentiate sine x, then I suggest you watch some of my earlier videos. But let's crack on with this. Now, the first thing we need to do is decide which of these terms will be u, and which of the terms will be dv by dx. And as a general rule, the u term will be the one that when we differentiate becomes simpler. And for example, here we've got the x term. When I differentiate that, I get one. So clearly this will be the u term. So let u equal x, and we'll have that dv by dx, that will be sine x. Now the first thing I need to do is to differentiate this one here. So du by dx will be one. And if I integrate this to find v, because I need a v in this formula here, uh, v will be the integral of sine x, which is minus cos x. And obviously I would normally have a constant of integration here, but I can leave that to the end. The next thing I need to do is to pop this into this rule here. So we've got the integral of x sine x dx is equal to the u term, which is x, times the v term, and the v term is minus cos x. So we'll just put that in brackets. So minus cos x minus the integral of the v term, which is minus cos x times du by dx, which is just 1, uh, with dx on the end. Let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. So x times minus cos x, that will be minus x cos x. I've got two negatives here, so I can change this to positive, the integral of cos x dx. So we've got minus x cos x plus now the integral of cos x is sine x. So we get sine x plus our constant of integration. And we could rearrange this if you want to sine x minus x cos x plus c. 